What are you doing? I told you not to come around here. Honey, I'm home. Dad, what's going on? Go back to bed, son. Everything's okay. I told you before, this is not your house, and we are not your family. You're wrong. I'm sorry things didn't work out. I really am. But the things you did, the, the, the things that you're doing, it's, it's crazy. Don't come here again. Your loss. Goodbye. No, you're up late. What are you talking about? It's a... I think it's to be 7.30 already. <laughs> it's okay. I'm making lunches and your phone's by the door. Ah, thank you for the coffee. Mm. Ah. Hey, why don't you uh, take a break for a second there, huh? Mm. I just want to finish making these lunches. Yeah, I, I know. I, I appreciate everything you've been doing since your mom passed. Dad, I don't mind. I do mind, okay? Why don't you take a break? There's something I want to talk to you about. What's up? Look, I know the last few years have been really difficult on all of us, and there's been some serious adjustments that we've had to make, and I appreciate so much the responsibilities that both of you have taken on around here. But I am concerned that you haven't been spending enough time, you know, on yourselves. Being a kid or a teenager. <laughs> doing fun stuff. <laughs> and uh, for me, too. I, I feel like there's... Something missing there for me. And uh, I met someone. What's that mean? Daddy has met um, a lady who is uh, kind of like more than a friend, you know? Oh. Who is this person? Her name is Maddie. We met um, on a dating app. A dating app? It is totally not like me at all. Look, I understand that this is new territory. For all of us, okay? Uh, I figured, you know, what the heck? I'll invite her to dinner tonight. You have talked to us about before springing it on us the day of? You are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I should have, and I'm very sorry for not doing that. I don't want to keep seeing her until she meets you both because you two are the most important people in my entire life. Is that okay? Yeah, it is. I think it's cool. You're late. Ah, all right, okay. Mm. Mm. Thanks for understanding. Of course. Love you both. Bye, I love you. All right, kiddo, let's go. I don't want us to be late too. Is it time to go already? I swear you are your father's daughter. If we didn't go to the same school, I'm convinced we'd never be on time. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. I heard rumors you were in the copy room. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's late again. I swear, if it wasn't for my daughter, I'd never make it. <laughs> Gonna be a long day today, huh? I'm Monday. What? But if we run over, maybe we can grab a bite at that new Italian place right up the street. Oh, um... What do you say? I would love to, but I can't. I got, uh, you know, uh, like a dinner movie thing with the oh. girls tonight. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Rain check? Sure. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go grab a quadruple espresso to get this day started right. Mm. Huh, you want something? No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, come on. Dopio cappuccino, two sugars, huh? Yeah, well, I'm gonna get one for you anyway. You're gonna love it. 
You're gonna drink three of them. So, who is she? I don't know, honestly. We're meeting her tonight. How very guess who's coming to dinner? He's literally. How are you feeling? Honestly, I don't love it. Did you tell him that? No. I mean, I can't. Why not? Lily, this is the first girl your dad's brought around since your mom passed. I think he'd understand if you're feeling a little wonky. What I'm feeling wonky about is the fact that he's had her over already and didn't tell us. What do you mean? I saw a woman leaving this morning. She was sneaking out. He's been having her stay over. Way to go, Mr. S. I don't like it. It's not like him to keep stuff from us. Maybe he wanted to really make sure he liked her before he introduced you. It's a big deal for him just as much as it is for you. It's a new chapter. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ian, he deserves to be happy too. That's the spirit. Hey, shouldn't you two be off to class? Oh, give a kid a chance, why don't you? You forget I've seen your permanent record of chances. You've had plenty. <laughs> Hi, Miss Price. Hi. So I'll see you two at SAT prep this afternoon? Of course. Lily won't let me not go. Ah, that's my girl. How's your admission essay going? OK. Good. Honestly, I don't know. I've been looking at it so long, I'm not sure anymore. I just want it to be perfect. Don't overthink it. Just write from the heart. I guess. Look. I know a lot has happened these past few years. You know, I think you're getting caught up on the whole academic minutiae of this essay. When in fact, you just need to let the university know who you are. Your mom. She had a big impact on your life, right? Yeah. That's what the essay should be about. Show them you. Show them your heart. Thanks. You're right. I'll try. Good. Well, we can talk about it more this afternoon if you want. Okay. I believe you have the potential to get into any school of your choosing. Both of you. Shucks. Stop it. Now off to class. Still stressed about that essay? A bit. And I'm sure this whole dad's got a girlfriend thing isn't going to alleviate things. It'll be fine. If you need to talk, I'm here. Thanks. I mean, who knows? How bad can she be? Mm -hmm. Coming! Is my daughter Lily? Lily, it's such a pleasure. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, pleasure. Oh my gosh. Is this her? Oh, wow. You're even prettier than he said. Maddie, this is my younger daughter, Nicole. Well, you're such a delight. We haven't had anybody new over in so long, let alone a woman with a sense of style. Oh. I need your opinion on so many things. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, I know, it's new for me too, okay? All right, I better go save her from Nicole before she talks both of her ears off. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, I cannot have another night, but everything was so good. Yes, and I can guarantee you that it was all made from scratch. Right here in our house, definitely not ordered last minute from Nicole's favorite takeout place on Main Street. Well, wherever it was from, I loved it. So, my dad tells me you guys met on an online dating website. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have much luck dating out in the real world. I figured if I went on the internet, I could control my interactions with people. You know, you can never be too sure. There's so many weirdos out there. But thankfully, I found the exception. Aww. Oh. What about you, Lily? I mean, you're in high school. Any boys? Oh, no, no, no. This, this is not dad conversation. Oh, come on, Michael. She's practically a woman. You know, when I was her age, I uh, noticed a basketball player or two in the halls. Oh, you did? No. No boys. I, I guess I just have different priorities. Maybe in college. Hmm. What about Patrick? Oh, Patrick, huh? Patrick's a boy, but not that type of boy. He's just a friend. Nicole's just being stupid, as little sisters tend to be. Mm -hmm. Well, I do appreciate your commitment to your studies. Do you have uh, your sights set on a particular school? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping to go to Brown. Brown? Wow, that's so far away. You don't want to go anywhere closer to home? I mean, I, I know it's across the country, but it's an Ivy League school and they have a lot of good programs. And it's where my mom went. Oh, that's a nice goal. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to clean up. Oh. <laughs> I will be in there in just a moment. Anything that I can do? Hmm. Yes, as a matter of fact, you can sit right there, relax, and be beautiful. Actually, uh, do you mind if I use the bathroom? I just want to freshen up. Uh, sure, yeah. Nicole, you want to show her where the bathroom is? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You finish eating your food. Don't give me any special treatment. Just point the way. Right upstairs, center of the hall. Okay, thank you. playing with that or are you finished? I'm all done. Well, kitchen. Will do. doing oh I I heard a beep um, and I thought it was my phone but I think this was your dad someone named Cynthia yeah they work together oh well then you better get it to him <laughs> dad what you got there Lily it's Cynthia works calling oh, never ends dishes yeah this was a lovely night, thank you. Yeah, gave me a good reason to break out the fine china. <laughs> we have fine china. It was great to meet you both. You too, it was fun. Likewise. Will you come back soon? If your dad says I can. I will work something out. <laughs> good night. Good night, girls. See you soon. <sighs> All right, up to bed. Tell me everything. What do you want me to say? Give me the details. She's nice, I guess. Pretty. Nicole really liked her. And you? I don't know. It's weird. But my dad really lights up when she's around, so that's kind of cool to see. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, there's just something about her that's not really connecting yet. That's to be expected? I guess. But it's not really like that. I mean, manipulative. But it's like when she's around, she's super nice. It's almost like she's too good to be true. I thought I caught her snooping through my dad's phone, though. What, you've never peeked at someone else's phone? 
Yeah, but this feels different. Lily, it's not. Fine. Trust me, she's probably more uncomfortable than you. I, I bet she was just trying extra hard to impress you. You think? Yeah, I do. Because I know how hard you are to impress. Good night, Patrick. Good night, amiga. Who are you talking to? Is that Patrick? Yeah. Did you give him a good report? Were you listening? No. <laughs> Just curious. There were minimal complaints. Ah. Well, thanks for tonight. Of course. Night, honey. Night, Dad. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. All right. I thought the library was tomorrow night. No, it's tonight. Then what's tomorrow night? Technically, also the library. It's just this admissions essay. I just want to get it right. Honey, I told you, you got to spend some time on yourself here. Hey, Cynthia's here. Hey, everyone. Hope I'm not interrupting. No, not at all. Come on in. Did I forget that we're carpooling today, or...? Uh, yeah, we have the Keller presentation. Remember, we're supposed to go to their office together? That's today? Oh, come on, Michael. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm ready for it. I just forgot. Let me grab my jacket. I don't know how you put up with them. You're not an easy task, as you know. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. It's not so bad. Uh, you know where my phone is? In your usual spot. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's going fine. Nothing crazy, just mm. school. Oh, I know you're preparing for your college prep. I admire that. Perseverance pays off. Thanks. So how was dinner last night? It was great. Dad ordered food from that place off of Main Street, and it's just, it's always fun to have someone new over. Oh, did you have some friends from school over? He didn't tell you? Uh, no, well, um, oh, tell me what? No, no, no. no. Wait, huh? we're going we're gonna to be late. Come on. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, the crosstown traffic's bad. Oh. Yeah. Dad. Uh, 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 later. Later on. Later on. Right, uh, love you both. Talk to you guys later, okay? Yeah. All right. So good okay. to see you both. I was just making sure my girls made it to school safely. That's sweet. Hiding back here because the kids don't want to see mom dropping them off. <laughs> yes. Been up on their style. <laughs> They're lucky to have you looking out for them. Well, they have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> Keller's face when you dropped the projected marker totals on him. He was like, <gasps> and the fact that he used his own analytics in an argument against him, it's priceless. <laughs> Why do you want to brag? I don't know how you do it. I've never met a computer or code I couldn't crack. I love the challenge of discovering its secrets. <laughs> and that is why I never let you use my computer in a meeting. <laughs> you make a good team, huh? Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah. So, um, big plans tonight? Oh, tonight? No. No, just, uh, mm. usual, you know. Hang out with the kids, go over all those reports for the meeting tomorrow, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, what was it that you were going to tell me earlier? Something about dinner? No, I don't remember anything. Um, yeah, must not have been a big deal. Uh, um, one second. Um, shoot. Uh, I gotta grab this. Um, oh. later, though. Well, we'll, we'll catch up later, all right? Sure. Hey, sure. again, great job today. Fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. All right, see you. Okay. Yeah, this is Michael. Can you believe the selfie Amber posted? I mean, nobody loves the pretzel kiosk at the mall that much. I just don't know what my dad sees in her. I don't know why he's so head over heels. About Amber? 
What? No, Maddie. Oh. You still fixating on that? <laughs> like anybody. It's not true. I like you. <laughs> true. So I know you're not totally hopeless. <laughs> but you have to admit you do tend to have a harsh judge of character. There's nothing wrong with being discerning. It's something you could learn to be better at. First thing you gotta realize about parenting is you don't ever worry about interrupting. <laughs> well, you gotta share your secrets. I will. Later. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you got Saturday detention for an entire month? Because you let Steve from the track team convince you it would be a good idea to egg the principal's house? You and my parents are not gonna let me lift that down, are you? Hey, we all have devils on our shoulder and it was a lapse of judgment. Okay, it's in the past. What are you two talking about? Something scandalous? Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help but overhear that you'd gotten into trouble over a peer pressure situation. I just want you to know that's okay. <laughs> We've all had our misbehaved moments. You must be Patrick. I'm Maddie. A pleasure. If you don't mind, though, I don't really like talking about it. Uh, of course, I meant no harm. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, what have you two been up to, huh? Uh, Patrick was just leaving. Um, yeah. Bye, Mr. S. Yeah. I missed something? Huh. <sighs> Want a drink? Sounds great. Was that? Oh, it's war kick and wait. This has been a great night so far. And it's not over. shouldn't be. Um... <laughs> Cynthia, hey. we have plans that I forgot about, or? You left these at the office. I wanted to bring them to you because I know you needed them for the project, and I tried calling. You weren't picking up your phone. I can't believe that I forgot these. <laughs> um, yes. Thank you so much for our life. I know. I don't believe we've met Maddie, Michael's girlfriend. Girlfriend. You've heard me talk about Cynthia, my business partner. Oh, yeah, I know. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Cynthia. Oh, likewise, although I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage. Well, you're welcome to join us for a glass of wine if you... Oh, oh no, no, no. I, I have to get back to work, but... Oh, what a shame. Yeah. But it was nice meeting you. Likewise. Mm. We'll see you at the office? Uh, yes. Sure. Um, can you, uh, will you excuse me just for just a minute? Oh, yeah. Cynthia, Cynthia. Hey, hey. Hey. Uh, walk with me for a minute. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... I owe you an apology. Um, I know this is really weird. Um, I didn't mean for you to find out about it this way. That's for sure. I just don't know why you couldn't have told me yourself. I mean, is this the reason why you've been dodging me? 
Avoiding more than surface inquiries? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted to tell you, believe me, I just didn't know how. Uh, you know, you and Amy, you were such close friends for so long, I thought that it might be... So you didn't tell me because of Amy? Yeah. You two have always been so close that this... Oh, yeah, me and Amy were close, but you and I are close, too. I... We've been in each other's lives for a long time. I just don't know why you couldn't have told me. I wanted to. I just... I just think that maybe I felt like... Because I felt like if I told you that it would suddenly become real. Like... If I, if I did, then I would have to admit to myself that I was finally over her, or that I had moved on. So you're happy? Yeah. Forgive me? Yeah. Dad? Cynthia, are you leaving? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I was just dropping something off. Can I talk to you for a second? Okay with you? Uh, of course. I've had it. I'll see you at the office. Sure. See you tomorrow. So, yeah? You met her. I did. How are you doing? What do you think about the situation of her? I don't know, she seems nice, but something's off. Off? It's strange. I don't know, maybe it's just me? I mean, it's a strange situation. Hey, listen. If you need anything, anything at all, you just call me, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. the office for you. <laughs> you got a minute? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. I was just going over some emails. What's what's up? Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we were cool. Uh, I know you said everything was fine last night, but uh, honestly, you, you were absolutely right. I should have told you about Maddie a long time ago. Look, it, it's fine. I mean, you're not obligated to tell me every detail of your life, Michael. I know, I know. I just... I trust you. I know you would have told me when the time was right. It was just a... It was just a shock, that's all. I know. You're the best. Rigby's office in 10, conference call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just finishing up some emails, so I'll be right behind you. With the strategic and objective, strategic and objective, remember, right from the heart. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up? That was great. I haven't seen an afternoon movie in ages. Yeah. Well, you know, once I found out I had the rest of the day free, I figured I might as well surprise you. You did. Sorry, it wasn't a better movie. Yeah. It was perfect because I was with you. <laughs> you gonna stay for dinner? You sure? Yeah, I'll order some pizza. Keep it simple. Girls will love that. Deal. Oh. <sighs> Work? Yes. I'm gonna take this in the other room. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah, the presentation couldn't have gone better. They love our number, I'll tell you that. Rendering looks great. Sure, I mean, I can crunch it again. Probably come in under budget. Absolutely.
reading my social media? <laughs> no. Hey, well, what's this? She was going through my social media. She was reading my private messages. I can explain. You better start. We said we were going to order pizzas for dinner, and I thought I would use your computer to order them and surprise your dad. Yeah, oh, of course you can use it to order pizza. So why not use your phone then? Th this seems really deliberate. It was an honest mistake. In what world was this honest or a mistake? I know that you don't like me, Lily. And so you thought this was going to make it better? I thought that if we could find some common ground, we can move past this awkwardness. I thought that if I could find something that you like, we could bond over that. Oh, don't be. You're not serious. I mean, you don't believe that, do you? Honey, I don't think she was doing anything on purpose, okay? You've got to be kidding me. <clears throat> I, Lily, I, I was I was just trying. Don't worry about it, okay? I got this. Just <sighs> Lily, you didn't knock. Yeah, I don't have to. I happen to own the house. Dad, you can't even pretend like what she did was okay. I'm not going to do that. She knows what she did was wrong, and she feels really bad about it. Yeah, well, she should. Lily, she's trying. Yeah, she made a mistake. That's why she made it, because she's trying to get to know you, to see if you have anything in common. Oh, come on. Look, this is not how you behave. She is. Why should I? Because I'm your father, and I'm asking you to. Your mother and I didn't raise you like this. I expected you to be better than this. Why can't you see why this hurts me? I, I do. I do, honestly. I really do, honey. But you also have to see this from my point of view. This is somebody that I care about. You know, I'm in this for the long haul. If I ask her to become a bigger part of this family and she accepts, I would really hope that you would welcome her into this house. Wait a second. For the long haul? You, you know what I mean. And you thought this of all times, was the time to tell me that you think you may want to marry this woman? Lily. Really? I'm not saying that. No. No. I, I need you to leave. Seriously? I, I just need a minute. Yeah, okay. Okay. I understand. Thanks again for today, and I'm sorry about earlier. Well, that's all right. She'll get over it. If you don't mind my saying so, she doesn't seem to be handling this very well. Well, you know, I mean, it is an adjustment. Yeah, the stress of college. Yeah. I can't believe she wants to go to school so far away. If I can be near my family, that would bother me. You don't really talk about your family much. I already told you. My mom died when I was little, and then my dad left. And then I bounced around for a bit and ended up at my aunt's. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. You know, I just didn't know if you still thought about them. In a way, I'm never not thinking about family. When I was growing up, all I ever wanted was the perfect family, just like all the other kids had, like on TV. A mom, a dad, 
seem so simple yet so unobtainable. Hey. And then when I grew up, I realized that if I can't have the perfect mom, then maybe one day I could be the perfect mom. Mother? You will be. That's what I'm hoping. Bridges? Yeah. What's this about? I know you don't know me, but I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about a woman. Do you know her? Maddie Sawyer? Yeah, I do. But her name isn't Maddie. Not at least when I knew her. It was Claire Sullivan. And she's trouble. Can I ask what happened? It was years ago. But that lady was a real piece of work. She moved in with my uncle, tried to marry him. When my uncle discovered she was getting intense with his kids, he tried to kick her out. But she didn't want to go quietly. She would show up in the middle of the night at his house, claim it was her house. Squatter rights even gave her a decent case. The resulting chaos left my uncle broke and drove him out of town. It was a mess. He barely answered his calls anymore, afraid it might be her. I'm so sorry. Do you know what happened to her? Uh, Claire, was it? No. When she didn't get what she wanted, she just disappeared. And let me give you some advice if you're looking for her. It's best she stay gone. That is one lady you don't want to find. Anyway, my family worked really hard to leave Claire Sullivan in the past. I suggest you do the same. Have a good day. Cynthia, you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. How did you get into my... Do you always take such an active interest in the personal lives of your co-workers? <sighs> Each other's lives for a really long time, okay? I've watched his kids grow up, and his late wife was a friend of mine. So he can't move on without your permission? He can absolutely do whatever he wants. But when I find out the person he's involved with isn't being entirely truthful... <sighs> I think I have a right to be concerned. Isn't that right, Maddie? Or is it Victoria? Or is it Claire? If you're hiding something, Michael deserves to know. You want to talk about deserve? What about what I deserve? What are you talking about? I deserve happiness. And a chance for a family without people like you interfering. I think you should get out of my car. And I think you should get out of my business. <laughs> you want him, but you can't have him. And now you want to come between us because he didn't choose you. Well, this is my family. Do you hear me? Mine! <laughs> Oh, 
talk about Claire? You should be careful with the things you tell people, Tyler. Or it might just come back and get you. Hmm? Not much, but it kind of seems like you're looking for a reason to dislike her. Are you kidding me? This social media thing seems like a pretty good reason to me. Parents snoop. It's what they do. I'm just happy I know more about computers than my mom and dad. She's not my parent, though. You know what I mean. Excuse me. I still haven't received your admissions essay. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it, I swear. Remember what I said. Don't overthink it. The essay should be about you, where you come from, what's important to you. My mom. Your mom. Thank you. Just get it to me by Saturday morning, okay? You got it. All right. That's the third time you've checked your phone. Am I missing something? I'm just waiting on a message. Just don't get busted. Remember when Mr. Hawkins caught that kid messing with his phone in class? That was you. Details. You're right, though. Hey. How long are you going to be hiding out for? I'm not hiding out. I'm working on my essay. Oh. Well, it is the weekend. You can give it a rest. Mrs. Price said she'd be around tomorrow if I wanted to turn it in. So. Hmm. Lily. Um, is she here? No, she's not. She's out running some errands. I figured it would be a good time for us to talk. Talk about what? She's trying, Lily. She really is. Would it kill you to try as well? You really care about her, don't you? Been through a lot. I know this isn't easy. And I know what it seems like, but I can promise you she is not trying to replace your mother, Lily. No one can replace Mom. She just... She's just trying to be a friend, that's all. Yeah, sure. Lily... Yes, I care about her. And yes, I care about you and your sister so much. And this is very difficult for all of us. But if there is some way that you can manage to try and get along with her, even a little bit, it would help me out a lot. I mean, is that too much to ask? Maybe a little. All right, I'll try. Really? But not for her, for you. I may not like everything that Maddie does, but if she's telling the truth, she's doing all of this for you, then I guess I can try and meet her halfway. Besides, I can't have her showing me up. You are my dad after all. <laughs> Thanks. No promises. <laughs> uh, to start. You're on your computer. Yeah, watching cat videos, not deconstructing the ethics of 18th century France or whatever you're doing. Okay, I'll relax my way and you relax yours. Okay, what's up? It's this whole Maddie thing. I mean, we don't even know anything about her. And that might be okay with my dad, but I, however, want to know what kind of woman is coming into my house and into my life. Fair. You said they met on a dating site, right? Yeah. Show me. There, that's it. What are you doing? I am logging in as your dad. What? Can you even do that? Just did. Patrick, what? I love a good challenge when it comes to computers. And your dad's had the same email address for years and never changes his passwords. Patrick! Patrick, you need to log out of my dad's dating profile. This is so beyond not okay. Uh, there we go. 
Patrick, I'm not kidding. And there you go. Wait, what is this? That's Maddie's profile. I found the messages that she and your dad exchanged, did a reverse search, landed on her page, and then dug into her account info. And right there is the address that she used to pay from, so that's where she lives. Are you even allowed to do that? So well, here you go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll live a little. Done. Whoa, what's all this? <coughs> Maddie, of course you're here. Uh, yes. Maddie and I were supposed to have a date last night, but she got caught up with work, so she decided to come over after the gym and do a morning date. And I volunteered to make breakfast. That was very nice of you. Thank you. This looks pretty good. Mm. Pretty good? It's amazing. It's way better than eating soggy cereal in the kitchen while you make sandwiches. You love those sandwiches. I think what she's trying to say is that it's just nice to let somebody else make breakfast for a change, right? Can't argue with that. Oh, mm. I forgot the white toast. It's a white toast kind of morning. Well, looks like you woke up on the right side of the bed, huh? It's this admissions essay. I finally got it done. I mean, I feel cross-eyed from proofreading all night, but now all I have to do is get it to Miss Price. That's great. It must be a real weight off her shoulders, huh? Honestly, yeah. And I was thinking that maybe we could celebrate. I mean, it's not every day that I turn in the biggest paper of my life, mm -hmm. and on a Saturday, mm -hmm. no less. Absolutely. It'll have to wait until <laughs> later in the afternoon or evening. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do around the house today, but uh, you know what you should do? Maddie's taking Nicole to go check out that new coffee truck down on Main Street after breakfast. You should go with them. Oh, uh... Well, in that case, I am going to make myself look presentable. You girls don't need to be seen with me looking like this. You finish breakfast. I'm going to go get ready. Okay? Okay. What can I say? She makes good white toast. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> My hero is my mother. Hmm. Well, that won't do. That won't do at all. Girls? There you are. We thought we'd lost you. Now, girls, you know a good beauty regiment takes time. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm all done. <laughs> Your girls are so sweet. Thank you. I'm very proud. Oh, well, I see where they get it, especially the little one. You have a similar sparkle. That is so nice. You know, ever since she was born, people have remarked about how similar we are. I think it's that mother-daughter bond. She's my perfect little angel. Well, it's a beautiful thing. Thanks, Maddie. Ah, uh, well, you have a nice day now. You too. Hey, take care of your mother now, you hear? I'm sorry, what did she just say? Did you just call her our mother? <laughs> mother. She said she was our mother. Lily, calm down. Calm down? How is this even remotely okay? I said I was sorry. I don't care. Lily. I told you. The woman was being very nice, and I didn't want to correct her. I, I don't see what the big issue is. It's not an issue. Lily is blowing this out of proportion. Out of proportion? You know what? Nicole and I had a mother, and she is not her. A fact that I haven't forgotten, even if you have. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I don't want to listen to this anymore. No, 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 Michael, Michael. Just, just give her a minute, okay? <sighs> Hey. 
You okay? I guess. Maybe we should get out of the house, get our minds off of it, go out to dinner. Sure. I can make a reservation. Mm. Okay. Uh, my phone's in my purse, so I'll be right back. Patrick, I need you to come over. Now. You're sure this is Cynthia's handwriting? I've been getting birthday and Christmas cards from Cynthia since I was a baby. I'm positive. It doesn't make any sense. Why would this be in Maddie's purse? What is all this? It's a lot. Something's not right. I mean, the snooping, the pretending to be my mom, that's one thing, but this... This feels real bad. I mean, the fact that this was in Maddie's purse, that can't be a coincidence, can it? No, you need to tell your dad. I don't know that he listened to me. He already thinks I have it out for Maddie, and he hasn't exactly been objective about her lately. You need something more concrete, something more than this. <sighs> Who even is this Tyler guy? I don't know me. I'm good with computers, but not as good as Cynthia. I mean, if this is anything deep, I don't know what use I'll be. Will you at least try? Yeah. This is weird enough now, I need to know. Do you need this? No, no, you hang on to it. I'll see what I can find out. In the meantime, I should probably get going before my parents flip. Yeah. School night and all. Look, try not to get too stressed, okay? I'll see if I can dig up anything solid about Maddie for your dad. Thanks, Patrick, for coming and for listening. I really owe you one. I've been up following leads all night, and Maddie's name isn't attached to this Tyler guy at all. What about Cynthia? No. <sighs> There's gotta be a connection. Why else would Cynthia be digging around? I don't know, maybe she's... Oh, Miss Price. Yes. Did you get my essay? I did. And I have to admit, I was surprised by its contents. What? Why? Well, I thought we discussed writing an essay from the heart about someone who influenced you. But I did. I didn't realize your stepmother had such an impact on your life. You've never even bothered to mention her before. My stepmother? Yes. Your essay about the woman that your dad married after your mom passed away and how her presence has had such an impact on your life and how she's really been there for you. Now, it was heartfelt, but surprising and lacked your usual organization. Miss Price, I didn't write that. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Miss Whitney. You've been noticeably distracted lately. And whatever's going on with you, it's definitely affecting your work. Miss Price, I swear I didn't write that. You're free to write your essay on whatever subject you like. I just have to confess. I was surprised and a bit disappointed. Well, it was her, Patrick. I know it was her. Nicole, you should put that away. It's family time. Mm-hmm. It was you. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but she changed my college admissions essay. Okay, whoa, what are you talking about? My essay. She changed it. The contents were changed. I wrote about mom, my real mom, and she messed with it. Michael, I don't even you know. You do. You did. Okay, honey, that does sound a little crazy. Crazy? 
You know what's really crazy? My new essay sings the praises of my stepmother. That's what's crazy. Now, who do you think could have done that, huh? Okay. I looked at your essay, and you did a great job. I, it was just a little bit flat, so I made a few edits to improve the writing. I was just trying to help. I'm always just trying to help. I just want what's best for this family. Oh, God! This is not your family! I was just trying to help. Honest, I was. Look, I get it, okay? I understand that that's what you were trying to do, but I mean, you can't do that. Doing additions to her essay? There's gotta be some boundaries. And especially when it comes to stuff about their mother. Right? <sighs> She's trying. She really is. But you're gonna have to give her some space here. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Hey, I do. I do, but it's not me you need forgiveness from. Okay. Let me see how she is. What did I say? I told you not to play with your phone during family time. It's disrespectful. I'm sorry, I was just talking to my friends. When I was a little girl, I would have given anything to have a nice afternoon with family. You're being selfish. Dad doesn't mind. Well, mommies and daddies do things differently, and I'm not your daddy. Dads aren't good with discipline. You need to learn some respect. But... And it's rude to ignore your mommy during family time. And you don't want to be rude, do you? No. That's what I thought. Bingo. What do we got? Possible lead. What are you gonna do? At this point? Whatever I have to. Okay, keep me posted. I better go. Let me know if you need backup. Thanks. you'd be burned out on homework. What are you doing in my room? Now, Lily, there's no need to be rude. Oh, there's every need. What you did, what you've been doing, you might have my dad fooled, but I'm not buying it. Or you. You've been lying. And I'm gonna prove it. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. I came here to offer an olive branch. I would do anything to keep this family together. Again, not your family. We'll see. Get out. Fine, I'll leave. But just so you know, I'm not going anywhere. Can I have my phone back now? I promise to learn. That's not fair! Life's not fair. I'm outside. Is she there? I don't think so. Her car's not here. Locked. 
Of course it is, Lil. Check the windows. I don't think I can do this, Patrick. Okay, I get it. Breaking the rules isn't really in your skill set. But if you think Maddie is up to something, sometimes the only way to combat that is to get up to something yourself. I mean, this could be your chance to figure out what she's been hiding. She had pictures of you. Photos of me, my sister, my dad. She even had photos of my mom. You better tell your dad. I can't. That he's gonna know I was at Maddie's house and who knows how he's gonna take that. He doesn't believe me. Okay, did you get anything? Maybe. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. I didn't make an appointment or anything. I'm a high school student. I don't really know how any of this works. Um, well, I really shouldn't without an appointment, but, um, sure, come in. Thank you. That must be so overwhelming when you just are under so much pressure. Well, that's an understatement. You know, it's not unusual for people of your age to have anxiety attacks. I mean, you're at that point where you're trying to everything. Trust me, don't worry if you can't, because most of us don't. No, I know that. And indecisiveness has never really been a problem for me. I mean, I've always known what I wanted. Maybe that's part of the issue with your anxiety. Maybe you need to learn to be a little more um, flexible, a little more patient. How do you mean? You just shared with me that you lost your mom. 
and that is profound. And a person's healing journey, that is a very intimate thing, and for some people it can take considerable time. Your dad's found this new woman. You have very complicated feelings towards your own mom that you haven't processed yet. And of course, this newcomer in your environment is going to feel like a threat. New is scary sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be good. I don't think that you're listening. This woman that my dad is seeing, she's dangerous. She feels dangerous because you have a loyalty to your mom. No, that's not it at all. I, I don't even know why I told you all of that other stuff. It's distracting you from the point. You told me all that other stuff because you needed to get it out. I've listened for another hour, but I've got a, another patient coming. Do you want to schedule something? The problem is the woman that my dad is dating. Yes, I know, and I promise everything is going to work out. So many people are in the same place that you are. <sighs> Dr. Harris, please listen to me. The woman that my dad is seeing was a patient of yours. Her name's Maddie. Madeline Sawyer. Maddie? Um, you do have real anymore. Just that Maddie and Trouble tend to travel in the same circles, so you need to be careful. Dr. Harris, if you could just... I'm sorry, I can't. Listen, Lily, if you ever need anything at all, call me, all right? I will. About, about anything. I will. Okay. Thank you. All right. Skipping school and taking a bus two towns over is a lot for a hunch. Yeah, well, if you're right and Maddie's been hiding stuff. This is serious. We're going to need some proof. Oh, I know she's been hiding stuff. I just don't know how far this goes. Or what Maddie's capable of. Let's nail her. For you. For your dad. For your mom. Just report back to me on what you find. and In the meantime, I'm going to hack into Cynthia's email and see what she's working on. Can you do that? I won't tell if you won't. Never mind that. You need to listen to me very carefully. He didn't show up to work again. This is Michael, and uh, 
She just really isn't like you, Cynthia. I'm getting very, very worried. Is, is there something I did? Is it, does it have to do with me and Maddie or, or... Look, just please call me and let me know you're okay. All right? If I, if I don't hear from you by tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the police, all right? So just call me. Bye. Hey there. Um, are you a teacher here? No, I'm a guidance counselor. Can I help you? As a matter of fact, you can. I'm here to pick up Nicole Stone. I was informed that her father was already on the way to pick her up. Some sort of family situation? Uh, uh, well, yes. I'm here to do it instead. I'm her mother. <laughs> no, you're not. Excuse me? I think I would know. You are not Nicole Stone's mother. I know my students. Nicole Stone's mother has passed away. Well, I'm seeing her father, and... Uh... I know who you are. And I know what you did to Lily's essay. I'm not impressed. You're not a role model, and you're hardly a mother. Based on what I've seen, you're trying so desperately to convince those girls and yourself that you're a good fit. Well, I've got news for you. You're the wrong stepmother. Because no woman with any type of maternal instincts would do what you did to that girl. Now, I can't control what my permission to get Nicole Stone. Fine. I guess she's had it rough from the start. Well, her dad tried to leave her mom, and her mom killed him. That's awful. Yeah, I guess she was shuffled into the system after that. That makes me almost sad for her. That's what I felt, too, until I found out that what your research suggested turned out to be true. She has a very particular way of working out her mommy issues. Then it's all true. It's not just true. It's worse. Lily? Lily, home from school so soon? I know all about you, Maddie. Patrick and I, we did some digging, and we found out some stuff about you, some not very nice stuff. You have no idea what you know. You don't know a thing. I know that you need to let go of my little sister right now. Nicole, Lily! Honey! What is going on? I just got a, a frantic phone call from Miss Price. Why don't you ask? Maddie here was married before, except back then she was going by Claire. And Claire had inherited a lot of money from her husband who died under accidental circumstances. And that made her inherit a lot of money. But, no, but wait, there's more, because before that she was known as Victoria. And Victoria also had a husband and three nice stepkids. But there was a problem, because Victoria had arrived under false pretenses. She had stalked them and fabricated her past to get them to fall for her. And when they found out about that, they weren't too happy, naturally. So what did she do? She kidnapped them and held them hostage. Isn't that right, Maddie, or Claire, or whoever you are? Or did I miss something? <laughs> oh, come on. Really, Michael? Are you hearing this? I mean, I knew the girl didn't care much for me, and we've had our share of issues, but assumed identities? Hostages? I mean, come on. All I've been trying to do is, is fit in, and, and every move, she's just resisted me. Oh, you gotta admit, this is too far. All the evidence is right there, Dad. Yeah, I can see that. You want to explain this to me? What is it? It's fabricated, of course. Hey, you get back here! Now, you are going to do exactly what I say. Fine. Whatever you want. Finally. 
We agree on something. Please send help. What do you want from us, huh? Why are you doing this? Who are you? Who am I? I'm, I'm no one. And I want what you take for granted. A family. A family of kindness and love. Not hate. Hatred is what drove my family apart and all I wanted was togetherness but people never understand and they always want more and they always leave forcing me to become the thing that I hate the most and all I wanted was a fairy tale ending but instead you treated me like the wicked stepmother Okay. Okay, just, just calm down. All right? Calm down. Give me the knife. Dad! Not this time. This time, I'm gonna do this my way. I have spent way too much time, and I am not gonna lose another family. So... We are gonna set up some ground rules. And if you follow them, then everything's gonna be just fine. You're crazy. What would make you think we would do anything with you after all you've done? Lily, I think you're forgetting the situation that you're in. I'm holding off. We can't have a perfect family. I am gonna damn well make one. Ever sleep in? Good morning, Dad. How are you healing? Uh, you know, I'll be okay. It's just first day back to work and all, you know. You gonna be okay without Cynthia? I don't know. It's gonna be a hell of an adjustment. Hey, um, I wanna talk to you both before I leave. What's up? Don't tell me you found someone else online to date. <laughs> no, no, I definitely did not, and I'm not going to. I can promise you that. That will never, ever happen again, okay? I just want you both to know how proud I am of you, how important you both are, and uh, how much I love you both, and I know your mom will be so proud of you. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Now you're going to be late for work. <laughs> nope. I am exact. Josie. Josie, I'm Steve. Hi. Nice to meet you. 